Hello, this is part one of the tutorial series for the Echo 2 Smart Pen. The Echo 2 Smart Pen records everything you hear in class and everything you write in class and syncs it together so you never miss a word. This Smart Pen will be useful to you if you prefer to take handwritten class notes and or you are required to take notes on course material that is heavy on formulas, equations, diagrams, etc. When approved for this service, DSP will loan you the Smart Pen materials in a three ring pouch. Each bag contains one Smart Pen, a micro USB charging cable for syncing to your computer and charging the pen, two ink cartridges, the basics guide manual, a Smart Pen controls card, and the adaptive tech specialist contact information. In addition, we will provide you with LiveScribe notebooks. The pen only works as intended with LiveScribe notebooks. Please notify DSP if you need additional notebooks or ink refills throughout the quarter. You will be required to return the smart pen with all of its materials when you no longer need the pen or upon graduation. Now I will show you the basic steps to start using your smart pen. The first thing you'll want to do is turn your smart pen on by pressing the power button, which is located on the other side of the display. You will know it is on when the display lights up and shows you the time and battery level. I recommend fully charging the pen before you plan to use it. The pen has a built-in speaker, but you can also connect it to your speaker or earbuds through Bluetooth. You can replace the ink cartridge by simply pinching the end of it and pulling it out of the pen, like so. Now I will go over the LiveScribe notebook. You will either have a single subject or three subject notebook. You will notice that in the front and back of the notebook, there are different menus with icons. Your smart pen controls card will also have the same menus with icons. You can adjust several of the pen settings here. You'll want to remove the pen cap so you can tap on the different icons. You'll want to make sure to set the display orientation so the screen doesn't display upside down when you are writing. Please note that you may need to tap more than once for the pen to register the action of the icon. When I tap the battery icon, the battery status will display. You can adjust the volume by tapping on the volume up or down icon. Now let's start recording. Open your notebook and tap on the device pairing icon often found in the front of your notebook to enter pairing mode. You will know it has successfully paired to your notebook when you see the Bluetooth icon flash repeatedly on the display. Next, find a blank page and with the smart pen turned on, click on the record icon at the bottom of the page. The smart pen will begin to record and the display will show a timer of the recording. So now I am ready to start writing. Here is my first note. Here is my second note, pound. I can pause the recording by tapping on the pause icon and I can stop the recording by tapping on the stop icon. I can then tap on my written notes to listen to the recording. When I tap the number two, Here I can listen to the playback of my recording. My 
second note. Count. If you want the pen to start recording without the use of a notebook, simply press the power button like so. This is my first recording. Press it again to stop recording. Press the power button one more time to hear the playback. This is my first recording. To turn the pen off, you need to press and hold the power button for three seconds. <laughs> 